Hey Capricorn, I hope you're doing well. This is gonna be a general December bonus reading to celebrate 100K. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate every single one of you. Um, Capricorn details are down below for anybody who's interested in personal readings, okay? Um, Patreon, Instagram, all that stuff's down below, okay? We're gonna go ahead and begin here, Capricorn, and see what we've got. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords. We got Libra energy here. Um, you could have some Libra in your chart. Let's see what we've got with this. What's going on with this energy here? For Capricorn. Some of you are getting some legal advice here in the month of December. I feel like there's something being sorted out here. Or somebody's like, don't say anything about that. Like, just don't like keep your mouth shut for now. You know, there's that kind of weird energy going on here. They're like, we need to take care of this um, privately. So yeah, I feel like there's somebody giving you legal advice or something of that nature. For others of you, I do feel there's someone who wants to speak to you, but they're not, they're not going to. And I don't know why it could be a fellow earth sign. It could be a Libra. Um, we're going to get to the bottom of it, but we have the page of pentacles here. There's somebody who has literally like typed out a message or gone to message you and they've just like, they've literally not done it. It's almost like they're open to doing it. Like they want to talk, but they've got this sword here. Capricorn. It's, <laughs> you know, it almost seems to me as if there's a person who is afraid of the way you approach things. Like, um, I, I feel like they're intimidated by you or by what you might say. It's like they, they want to speak with you about some issue that they have, but I feel like they just, um, they feel like they know how you're going to respond. They feel like they know how you're going to react. You have the fool showing up here, very loose lipped, you know, like they feel like you're going to be very loose with your words or very harsh with your words. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting here. Temperance, some of you, it's an Aquarius, Sagittarius energy I have here with temperance. Capricorn, some of you, you have a, Some of you, you have a fixed sign here that something did not work out with and they know you're involved elsewhere now. I don't know how they know that, but they know you're involved elsewhere now. Um, it's weird energy here. And I think for some of you, that's why this person doesn't want to reach out. Ooh, got chills. <laughs> uh, I hope I'm not getting sick. Most of the time, though, chills can serve as confirmation in a reading. Chills, honking, things of that nature, random beeping, things like that. Let's see what else we have. Um, Ten of Swords, Queen of Cups, Ace of Pentacles showing up here somebody's studying and ending like mad capricorn St somebody is studying like they could be going back over old text messages something of that nature somebody is bitter capricorn you know something else here i do think that a person could have tried to go down a new path this isn't all i'm going to talk about by the way i see something else here but somebody could have tried to go down a new path and it didn't work out every time something doesn't work out capricorn i feel like the blame falls back on you like this person could go through person after person after person and you know even then the blame like shifts back to you for why something didn't work out you know if i didn't spend all that time in that situation blah 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 like if i could just let go of this you know if i could let go of capricorn then this could have worked out you know there's something weird like that going on where a person blames you for everything that's going wrong in their lives it's very weird energy here um i do think a person could be trying to also come off as like innocent in a situation like yeah we'll let the world think that you know like we'll let the world think that you did nothing wrong that you did nothing to create the circumstances you're in that's the energy that i'm sensing coming from someone this could be a gemini or a cancerian we have the uh, ace of pentacles showing up i do see an opportunity here though that you are not seeing okay i want to see what this could be surrounding but her back is turned to it she's focused on something else okay but i feel like this opportunity is here what's going on with it for capricorn some of you are very focused on this water sign. I think you need to let it go. I feel like there's a fire sign here for you. Yeah, I feel like this opportunity could um, pass you by, you know? Like, I, I feel like you're focused on somebody there was a lot of chaos with, okay? Uh, Seven of Swords Tower. Like, if you need to have that conversation, you need to say something here, like, go ahead and say it, you know? But not if you're expecting to have a restart. I feel like that's not going to happen. I feel like neither of you want that, ironically, but I do think that um, there's that potential here for you to be afraid that it could be misinterpreted as that. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like the person that you are having this energy towards probably feels the same. They're like, you know, I want to have some sort of closure or clarity, but I, at the same time, I don't want this person to think that I'm wanting to have a restart with them. So yeah, I think that the both of you, if you're in that energy, I feel like they're in that energy too. I do see a Pisces or a fire sign returning to you here, Capricorn. They're wanting to talk about something. I'm almost, there's very stubborn energy surrounding this. I wouldn't even bother with it, to be honest. Like, you have the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the hangman. It's almost as if, like, yeah, I want to keep talking about it, but I want to keep saying my side, and I don't want to hear your side. Like, just be quiet then, you know? Like, just be quiet. That's what I feel you're saying to this person. Now, I do think that there is a Leo here that's had eyes on you for a while. A Leo or a Scorpio. This Scorpio might be from your past. A Leo or a Scorpio has had eyes on you here. 
maybe on your social media pages, like somebody's been watching your social media pages long before they reach out to you, okay? Your Facebook specifically, if you have Facebook, um, I feel like that could be confirmation for somebody here. But yeah, there's somebody who has a strong desire towards you, and I feel like you could be a little bit iffy about their intentions. Some of you, they really admire what you do for work. Like you're a boss, you're a leader, you're an authority figure. Um, they feel like you're very wise. I feel like they really admire what you do for work. Some of you, if you like make bank from what you do from work, I would be careful with that because I feel like that's kind of catching their eye. And it's not that nobody wants that, you know. It's not that it's a bad thing to want somebody who's stable. I think it you know, I think there's a difference between wanting somebody who has the ambition to like take care of themselves, to do something that provides stability, um, versus like, I want somebody because they have stability they can provide me with, you know, that's a little bit weird. So I do think that, um, you want to watch out for that. Somebody who like a user type of energy, a user type of energy. Um, we have the lovers showing up right here as well. I feel like there's a strong, like physical attraction here too. So don't let that, like, don't let somebody's physical attraction, um, or attractiveness, whatever, like lure you in and get you caught up in something here. I feel like that's something else that you may want to watch out for. I do see some of you looking looking forward to a move here. I feel like you've already planned this move. I see you looking forward to it here. I feel like there's a lot to get done though. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot to get done in like a little bit of time though. So yeah, I definitely would get ahead of that. Um, some of you, there could be a Leo involved here or a Libra. But yeah, I, I feel like there's a move. There are papers to sign. There are things to like, um, there are deadlines to hit. There's something weird going on with that. Um, but that's what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. I hope that this was helpful. Details are below for anybody who's interested in personals, Instagram or Patreon. But if this is where we part, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. And hopefully I will see you next time, Capricorn. Bye.